Hi, I'm Robert. And this is Ruger. Think about all the knots that trail riders and horse campers need to tie. Knots to tie horses to trees. Knots to tie horses to trailers. Knots to tie to... I don't know what else. Here's the three knots that I use most often. Hi, this is Minnie. We're going to look at a knot that I use on a regular basis to tie inside the trailer. You may have heard it referred to as a highwayman's hitch, a getaway knot, a bank robber's knot. The beauty of this knot is it dissolves very quickly. So let me show it to you. All you need to do is take your lead, make a loop. It's technically called a bite. Take that bite, run it over whatever you're hitching to. This knot works great on hitch rails. Take it to the left of your standing end or pony end and the working end of your lead. The working end needs to be in the middle. Take that working end, run it over and around that first loop or bite. Take it over and around the second to form a second loop or bite. Stick it through the first. And now you're going to take the pony end and snug this up. This is the highwayman's or bank robber's knot. It works great and it dissolves in a snap whenever you're ready to leave the trailer. Let's try that one more time. We have our pony end of the lead, our free or working end of the lead that we formed into a bite or a loop. We'll put that loop over whatever we're gonna tie to and then we're gonna take our free or working end of the lead, wrap it over and around the bite and then over and around the pony end of the lead. We'll form that into its own bite that will stick through the first, and then we'll use the pony end to tighten it down. And you're done. This is Ellie, and we're gonna look at a knot that I use on a regular basis, especially at the trailhead when I'm tying to the trailers. I also use this knot when I'm packing and I'm pulling multiple pack animals. I learned this from Ed Halfliger, a fabulous packer that I know, and this knot is super simple. To make this knot, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop or a bite in my lead. I'm going to run that bite through the tie loop of my trailer. On the pony end, I'm going to roll the lead up, put that bite through, and I'm done. All this is is a half hitch on a bite. It's super easy to tie. It's super simple. And when I'm ready to go, pull it down and hit up the trail. And one more time. Make a loop or a bite, shove it through your tie ring, make a half hitch on the pony end of the lead, shove that bite through, snug her down, and you're done. This is Ruger, and this is a knot that I use all the time to tie to trees when I'm on the trail. It's wonderful, and it won't slip down the tree. All I'm gonna do is take my lead, wrap it around the tree once, wrap it around the tw tree twice. I can even wrap this around the tree three or four times if I have enough lead rope and it's a slippery tree. All I need to know is the number four, check my watch, make a loop, put it through where I check my watch, and I'm done. Let's try that one more time. Take your lead, wrap it around the tree once, twice, or more times. Make the number four. Check your watch. Make another bite. Push it through the bite where you checked your watch and snug it up. And again, you are done. You can also lock these knots with another half hitch. Ruger and I both appreciate your watching and we hope this helps with your trail riding and horse camping adventures. Ruger sure would appreciate your like, share, and subscribes. Give us a click and visit us at trailmeister.com.